Hello, yellow team. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, for right now, I'm going to be explaining your writing assignment for this week. Uh, remember that I'm going to see you during POTS time. So, in case you have any questions or doubts, we're going to be addressing them during that time. Uh, we're going to be also uh, reading a new story this week. And I, I really like the story. It's, very, it's so beautiful. And I think it has beautiful pictures. You'll see it in a minute. But before we jump into the video, into the whole uh, explanation, I want to give you a couple of tips. We have talked about this in the past, but just in case you don't remember very well, we're going to be um, refreshing this information. We've talked about nouns in the past. Nouns, remember nouns. So, nouns are usually people, yeah, right? Like people, places, things, or even animals. So whatever we call people, places, things, or animals are usually nouns, okay? If I say the teacher, a teacher is a noun. If I say the student, student is a noun. If I say the girl, the boy, the friend, the mom, the dad, those are nouns. If I say the school, if I say the, um, the, um, the house, the park, all those are nouns. If I say the rabbit, right? The rabbit, the, um, the cat, the dog, the fruit, the chair, the table, all those are nouns, okay, friends? Remember, these are common nouns, okay? Nothing specific. When we use proper names, when we use Miss Vicky, Miss Sheda, Nikla, Selim, Amelie, when we use proper Mariana, those are different, okay? Only non-specific nouns, okay? These ones are non-specific nouns. We're talking about people, places, animals, things, but nothing specific for now. Okay, friends, that's here. And you're gonna see that you're gonna find a little assignment about, a little activity about this. But before we jump into the whole explanation, I also want to remind you about synonyms, okay? Synonyms, friends. Remember that synonyms are words that they mean, and they, the, 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 the meaning is usually very similar, okay? Like happy and glad, big, and large, small and little, start, begin, okay? These are words which meaning is usually very similar, almost the same, okay, friends? Just take this in mind. I'm going to be refreshing everything while I'm explaining every activity, but just in case, okay? So, the story that we're going to be reading this week it's so beautiful. I just love it so much. It's called I Love the Earth. I might, I might, I might, uh, during our POTS time, I might uh, ask Miss Chida or whoever is going to be with you to review the story, okay? I am hoping that if I didn't have you last week and I'm not having you this week, friends, I might have you next week. That's what I'm hoping because I want to see how everyone is doing, okay? So, um, this is the story for this week. I love the earth and I think it's so beautiful. You will find so many beautiful pictures in here about beautiful landscapes. Just enjoy. Again, we might review this story later, uh, but I also want to try to read some other stories. Anyways, that's the story for this week. And then let's see the activity. So as you see here, these pictures are actually nouns. Remember, can be either can be either, just to refresh, can be either a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. So friends, we're gonna be labeling those pictures that you have there. There's two pages of pictures of different types of nouns. And I want you to sort them by labeling them with the beginning sound. If it's a person, letter P, okay? If it's a person, letter P. If it's a thing, ooh, this diagraph over here, do you remember? Okay, a thing, mm, yes. And if it's an animal, ah, uh, ah, uh, answer my arm, okay? Letter A, okay? Remember, person, thing, an animal, ah, uh, okay? Or letter A, all right, friends? So, you have many animals in here. 
many, like, yeah, many people, many different persons, and you also have things, no places though. That's why I didn't give you that option. We have no places, only these two first pages, right up here, okay? Let's, let me just give an example, a little example, okay? Let me see, I need my pencil and right here, all right, so in here I have an animal. Ah, in here I have a person, okay? Right here, an animal, okay? Right there, on top of it, okay? I have another animal here, okay? That's all. Do it with these two pages, friends. These two pages, please. Okay, these two pages, okay? That's why I need to erase. Every time I'm using this, I need to erase. Okay, one second. I'm going to erase it before we keep going. Mm -hmm. All right. And close attention to the rest, friends. We're still keeping that in mind. People, places, animals, or things are nouns. So what you're going to be doing in this second page, I'm sorry, the third page, the third page is that we're going to add a little pronoun here that we know very well. I, I, you see how it says? I see the mountains, okay? Let's try to read these little sentences on your own and don't forget to add, to add letter I in here, okay? I'm just going to give an example so it's clear enough. Okay, one second. I'm going to give an example. All right. I see the mountains. The mountains, okay, friends? Remember to have eagle eyes. Help yourself to read these little sentences with these beautiful pictures that we have here. That is going to help. I'm not going to read the rest because I want you to do it by yourself, okay? But then, that's not it. I would like you to also circle the noun again. Just to double check. A noun is either a person, a place, a thing, or an animal, okay? In this case, we're talking about what? We're talking about either animals, things, or places, okay? All right, so I want you to circle the noun, friends. Please, circle the noun. I'm gonna give you a little example here. Again, I need to... All right, little example. So I already, I already wrote here, I, right, see the, the mountains. This is a place, so I'm going to circle it. You're going to find different types of nouns. Remember, either things, animals, people, or places, okay? So I see the mountains, read at letter I, or the word I, right? and then circle the noun, okay? That's your duty for this little page over here, the third page. And then, what you're gonna be doing over here, friends, is something in regards to this synonyms, okay, friends? Remember, words that are similar, that have similar meaning, okay? Almost the same, all right? Almost the same. So, I'm gonna show you over here, and I'm gonna give you an example. Just a little, a little tip, friends, a little tip. Not all of these words have a synonym, okay? They don't have a synonym, not all of them, okay? But you might find it, uh, oh wait, no, they do. I'm sorry, they do. Yes, they do. You can make little lines here. I'm going to, I'm going to make a line to put together the word frock and the word stone, rock and stone. They're almost the same, they're very similar. Remember, a rock is usually a big piece, and then a stone is usually smaller, okay? So, in here, friends, we have the word father, happy, sleepy, dad, glad, and tired. Make a little, a little line between the ones that have similar meaning, okay? 
I read it with you, but I want you to reread them again. It's important, okay? Read them again. Try to do this by yourselves, friends. And again, I'm going to be helping you. And I think that I have most of you during uh, POTS time, okay? So um, we're going to be doing this together. Don't worry. I, if I don't have you, again, if I don't have you this week, it's because I, need, I needed to make some little changes, but I might have you next week, okay? Because I want to see how everyone is doing. All right, friends? So I'll see you next week, and I hope everything goes well. Uh, yeah, sorry. This week, you might be looking, yeah. I'm just making, I'm recording this video before the week. Sorry, friends. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Take care, and yeah. Love you. Bye-bye.